Hello YouTube, this is David from the Mr. Black YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to use your PS4 controller wirelessly with your PS3. So all you have to do first is you have to have your PS4 controller and then all you have to do is take the USB charging cable for it, plug it into the PS3 and then plug it into your controller. Okay, so I just plugged it in and now if I go on my PS3, which I will show you, I can move through the menus pretty flawlessly however is not yet wireless so in order to get it wireless what you have to do is you have to go all the way over here to the settings tab uh, go down to accessory settings and then you're going to want to go down this menu until you get to manage bluetooth devices Okay. now unless you have one registered it'll pop up this so I'll just hit yes if this pops up anyways you need to get to this screen where it asks you to start scanning for bluetooth devices so what you're going to do is with your PS4 controller plugged in and I will show you with your PS4 controller plugged in you're gonna press cross to start scanning and then after it starts scanning um, what you're going to do is you're gonna unplug it and then you're gonna quickly hold down the PS button and the share button on the top left right here of the controller I don't know if you can see that with my webcam it's not the best quality it's right up here the share button and the PS button you're gonna unplug the controller hold both of these simultaneously once it pops up on the list, you're going to quickly plug the USB back into the controller and then hit X to confirm it. So I'm going to go ahead and show uh, me doing that. So with my controller plugged in, I'm going to hit X to start scanning. It's scanning. I'm going to quickly unplug it. And then I'm going to hold these two buttons at the same time until the bar on the top starts flashing. So as you can see, it's flashing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly take my USB cord that's plugged into my controller on the PS3. I'm going to plug it in and then I'm just going to hit X. And there we go, register complete. So now, um, as you can see, the controller is now detected by the console. So if I just unplug this cord right here, I should be able to press the PS button. So I just press the PS button, and now it connected to the console. So one very important thing I would like to mention, and I really recommend you do this, especially before you launch a game or anything, at least if you just add the controller for the first time, Go ahead and turn off your PS3, and then if you just want to hit the PS button in the middle, it will it should turn it on with the PS4 controller. Go ahead and do that right if you just this is your first time adding the controller to it, because um, otherwise I've done this before and it basically because we plugged in the wire controller earlier, it might register this as controller number two and therefore player two. So like let's say if you want to go play like a game like I don't know like Call of Duty Black Ops or whatever or something. When you get into the menus it might basically say like put in controller or this is a guest account or something like that and not let it work. So one final recommendation I would like to make is if you ever want to go back to using it on the PS4, just go into your accessory settings, go back to your manage Bluetooth devices hit triangle on the wireless controller and then just hit delete right here um, and then once you do that that should allow you to just go ahead and plug it back into the PS4 the USB cord and then you can hit the PS button again and it should just automatically reconnect to the PS4 because um, otherwise if you hit the PS button like after you turn off your PS3 it's just going to connect to your PS3 and one last thing the only well the biggest downside of using the PS4 controller on the PS3 is you cannot use the PS button to get to the home screen unfortunately so if you're in a game and you need to get to like you know your messages or whatever you cannot do that um, one recommendation I have is if you want to get past that is to maybe try to buy one of those like remotes that Sony has that has the PS button on it and then just have that on the side if you need to access the home screen during games but other than that that's all there is to it this has been David from the Mr. Black YouTube channel and Thanks for watching.